everyone so this question i came across in the book which says that if you have two vectors u bar and v bar so these are vectors in r3 okay so if you have two irrotational vector fields okay so irrotational means what so these are the vectors and uh, so like points are flowing through medium so they are not rotating like this okay so they are not irrotational they are just flowing straight that's why they are said irrotational and mathematically irrotational means the curl of these two vectors are zero so curl of u is zero and curl of v is zero it is zero bar because they are the vectors what i want to show that if i take the cross product of two irrotational vectors and if i take its divergence then the answer is always okay incompressible means what divergence of a vector is zero then we call that the vector is incompressible now how to prove this well the proof is not that difficult but to prove that i need a couple of things or actually i can simply give you the proof in one line so the for that i am going to use one result what is divergence of u cross v the formula is it is v vector this dot product so dot product with curl of u minus u bar dot product with curl of v so this is the result that i am going to prove and once you have this result your your uh, question is done right because what is this this is v bar dot what is curl of u bar zero bar minus u bar dot what is curl of v bar it is zero bar because they are irrotational now dot product of two vector this is a zero this is a real number this is a real number so the answer is two okay so divergence of cross product of two irrotational vector is always zero so now let's try to prove this fact this one so we, we will find rhs we will find lhs and we will say that they are equal now for that first thing i need to find is u cross v so what is my u let me call my u as uh, u1 u2 u3 this is a vector in r3 and my v bar is v1 v2 v3 how do you find the cross product ijk the first row is the first vector second row is the second vector what is this this is i into you do this cross multiplication and uh, so on right so let me write down it for you what do i get i into u2 v3 minus v2 u3 minus j into u1 v3 minus v1 u3 and plus k into this vector so this is my u cross v vector now i find this divergence divergence of u cross v that means it's the dot product with the nabla vector this is my nabla vector which is double by double x double by double by double by double z dot product with this cross product and how do you do this this is nothing but double by double x of the first component which is nothing but u2 v3 minus v2 u3 plus dabba by dabba y of this is v1 u3 minus u1 v3 plus dabba by dabba z of u1 v2 minus u2 v1 now this you this you know right this is what this is dabba by dabba x of the first um, first number minus dabba by dabba x of v2 u3 Plus dabba by dabba y of u v one u three minus dabba by dabba of u one v three plus dabba by dabba z of this minus dabba by dabba z of this, and then you apply the product rule. Okay, so this is dabba by dabba x of so if I write u two into dabba by dabba x of v three plus v three into dabba by dabba x of u two, and you expand this. Okay, so I'm not going to write this. And let me call this as my one. This is my right hand side. Sorry, left hand side. Now let us try to compute the right hand side. Now to compute right hand side, see what is the result? V bar. So V bar I have, U bar I have. I need to compute curl of U bar and curl of V bar. Now what is curl of U bar? So again by definition, curl is I J K. The first vector is the Nabla vector, double by double x, double by double y, double by double z, and this thing. So when we do this expansion, this is what we have: I into double by double y of U three minus double by double z of U two minus J into these things. right similarly you try to find curl of v so this is i into again the same thing this cross product so i have dabba by dabba y of v3 minus dabba by dabba z of v2 minus j into 
डेबा बाय डेबा एक्स ऑफ वी थ्री माइनस डेबा बाय डेबा जेड ऑफ वी वन एन प्लस के द फाइनल वेक्टर व्हिच इज नथिंग बट दिस टू क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट व्हिच इज वी टू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स माइनस वी वन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई फाइन एंड नाउ यू टेक द डॉट प्रोडक्ट सो वी बार व्हिच इज वी वन वी टू वी थ्री डॉट प्रोडक्ट विथ कर्ल ऑफ यू बार सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट फैक्टर विथ आई कंपोनेंट This is the second with J component, and this is the third with the K component. So what is the dot product? V1 into the first vector. So what you have is V1 into U3 with respect to Y minus V1 into U2 with respect to Z plus V2 into U1 with respect to Z minus V2 into U3 with respect to X plus V3 into U2 with respect to X. Minus v3 into u1 with respect to y. Similarly, you try to find u dot curl of v. So u1 into this thing plus u2 into this vector plus u3 into this vector. So this is u1 into v2 with respect to z minus u1 into v3 with respect to y plus u2 into v1 with respect to z minus u2 into v3 with respect to x. Plus u3 into v2 with respect to x minus u3 into v1 with respect to y. And if I call this as double star, and if I call this as star, and if I do star minus double star, what I will get is I will get equation number one, which was this thing. Okay, so I am not going to do those that calculation because that's just a basic calculation that anyone can do. So I hope you have got the idea. So the proof is quite easy, provided you know this identity. Okay. So you should have a rough idea on how to prove this identity. And uh, yeah, this is the short two-line proof. So I hope this is clear. Thank you.